Hi everybody, bonjour tout le monde, uh, welcome to the 10th ever Condor Matador vlog. My name is Jerry Lego and uh, first off I'd like to apologize because it's been a long time since the last vlog. I'm really sorry I haven't been able to post as much in the month of November. But November was a really active month for us so I'd like to talk about that uh, with you and apologize for the delay between videos. Hopefully now it'll be a little bit more regular again. Um, so the month of November was really busy. First off, we capped off October with a wonderful set uh, at Au Petrovis, uh, playing after uh, decent uh, Leah Keeley, and of course the event was hosted by Abby Long, and it was a wonderful success. We had a wonderful time, and uh, lots of people came, and it was a really successful, fun show. Then we went up to my cottage, Massimo and I, for a writing retreat. And we wanted to uh, work on some music and spend some time together and just chill and uh, debrief and regroup and uh, know exactly what Condor Matador is all about and uh, learn about ourselves in the process. It was a really good weekend. We uh, listened to music all day on Saturday. Friday night we got up there and we just chilled and had a couple of beers together and uh, told a couple of tall tales. Listen to some old music that we'd made when we were like 19, 20 in a band called Paisley Wild and just enjoyed, you know, talking about our musical identity and our progression in music through the years. And it paints a picture of who we are today because we've got to be uh, really at peace and acknowledge where we came from and uh, know what our strengths are and what they were and what we've learned and what's changed. What, what have we lost? What can we take from then? So that was a really good, fun time, and uh, Saturday morning I got up and I was making myself some breakfast. Uh, Massimo slept in a little bit later than I did, I have a trouble, I have a hard time sleeping in. And I started humming melody as I was making my eggs, and uh, the song, uh, How Do You Like Your Eggs in the Morning, came to be. I wrote it uh, right then and there, and then uh, just chilled a little bit, and Massimo woke up a little bit later. We uh, you know, started listening to music, started talking about playing some music. And uh, just in the evening, we started uh, messing around with this riff that Massimo had uh, been working on earlier in the day. And I said, well, what was that song you were playing earlier that you said was like a half-developed idea? And it turned into this track called Patty Martin. And we were just ecstatic when we came up with this song. It's probably the song that we like the most right now, and, and that's, that doesn't say that much because every time we write a new song, it's our new favorite song. Especially if we commit to this song, like we're going to go record it with Marky Beats, that means that we like love the song already and we just can't wait to hear what it turns into. This song was one of those songs we were just thrilled with it. It's really, really exciting. We've got some whoa oh ohs in there. It's like an anthemic pop rock masterpiece and uh we can't wait to share it with you it's called patty martin and that's probably gonna come out in like february or march we're gonna we're gonna sit on that one for a while and uh honestly that weekend kick-started the process of writing our second album we released she stole my drink november 5th um and that was what uh our uh, our halloween show was all about was a release show for that album so that's out now and so we're like, well, we got to write album number two. We're in this like flow of writing a ton of songs and we don't mind like killing the, the babies, you know, sorry to say it like that, but that's what you say when you, you, when you acknowledge that a song is a little bit less strong and maybe you drop it in favor of writing a new, more exciting song that fits something uh, a little bit closer to what we're doing now. And that's what we're anticipating album number two is going to be like. We're going to try to write, a, you know, seven new, really, really exciting songs and or sift through the backlog of honestly we've got about 45 to 50 55 maybe songs that we've written since starting Cardinal Matador two years ago and that was like a year incubating phase and now we're like almost a year into being a public band now um so yeah so we're writing album number two and we wrote uh, two and a half songs at the cottage that weekend and uh we're probably only gonna start recording the second album in January, but we tend to go pretty quick uh, when we work with Marky Beats. He's uh, the best producer in the world at Marky Beats, and that's Marky Beats, M A R K Y Beats. You'll find him on Instagram for sure. He's super, super cool, and uh, he just elevates our music to another level. So it's, uh, it's we're so lucky to have him. Um, so like, what else? Um, uh, we just did a lot of music, recorded the song. Uh, Things will pick up again at the uh, in the start of the new year. We might uh, not 
do a ton of posting in December. Maybe we'll scale it back a little bit. Uh, but uh, we're going to be back at Blue Dog January 2nd. And that's going to be a whole night of music. We haven't announced the artists we're going to be playing with yet. But uh, that's going to be something really exciting. So Blue Dog January 2nd. And uh, we're going to be like curating the event, I think. That's sort of what I am. Uh, sorry if I'm announcing that wrong. Uh, and anyways, the details are to come for that. Anyways. So thank you so much for tuning in. Merci beaucoup d'avoir écouté uh, cette vidéo. Uh, je vous souhaite une bonne soirée, un bon, uh, bon restant de la semaine, uh, bon lundi. Uh, until next time, I'm Jerry Lego, uh, Condor.